Um, that's one of the kind of uh, weird things that's being discussed, especially at, at this IGF. I've noticed, like yesterday, um, and even in some of our booklets that we're giving out, we have this uh, book on um, how the IGF is uh, collaborating, or how the European Union is working uh, for the IGF, and they're you know promoting security, but like uh, freedom as well for the internet, and they're expressing it as a human right, and it's kind of a uh, kind of funny at the same time, but it is a little serious. I think it might take time for that to really kind of develop because it's not, I mean, it is a right, but it's not as serious as something like freedom of speech. But of course, it does represent freedom of speech, which is kind of like, hmm, it's complicated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I think that in the future, it will become a human right. I mean, um, I think that the most important thing is providing uh, internet access for people because it's really important to both communicating um, with others, with relatives who are abroad, or even with, you know, jobs or or just for the market. Um, but I do realize that, like, some people either in third world countries or, like, older people, like, even my grandparents, like, they don't have, they don't need to use, to use it at all. But I think that if they had access to it and, um, they were just given the right to use it, then they would really figure out, like, especially how to, especially with communicating with family abroad and stuff like that.